Chevrolet Cruze is a coup for marketers and designers. They managed to create a spectacular car at an affordable price. But how durable and practical the final product turned out to be, only time can judge. And enough time has passed to draw conclusions about the reliability of the used Chevrolet Cruze. Read about them in the article below. The oldest Chevrolet Cruze today is not so old as to speak of serious corrosion. But there are no particular problems with this. GM over the past decade has significantly improved the issue of anti-corrosion treatment of the body. Potential risk areas are wheel arches and sills. But the thickness of the metal let us down. It bends at the slightest pressure and over time the car is covered with many small dents. Therefore, there are many tinted cars on the secondary market without an accident. Moreover, some owners of credit cars did this at the expense of Casco Insurance. The external trunk release button is poorly protected from moisture, so its service life is limited. Depending on the weather and the way the car is stored, it can work from 10 to 50,000 mileage. If it starts to fail, then it is better to replace it, since damaged contacts can close and completely discharge the battery. Salam without outside interference behaves quietly. But there are also weaknesses. These are the steering wheel, gear knob, and decorative panel overlays. The steering wheel began to climb already by the 50,000th run, so for many it has been replaced or sheathed in leather. After restyling, the coating composition was improved, but this did not fundamentally fix the problem. There are two types of lining on the front panel's fabric and eco-leather. The former get dirty quickly and are difficult to clean, while the latter can blister in strong sunshine. In frosty or rainy weather, the Chevrolet Cruze fogs up all the windows, along with the windshield. It will not be possible to fix this, since a design miscalculation. The air currents blow like that. Chevrolet Cruze engines the most common engine is a 1. 6 liter gasoline. There were two types of them on the Chevrolet Cruze. Old familiar to all service masters F16 D3, which was installed on the Lissetti and Nexia. The motor has already been steadied up and down, but there are weaknesses. Be sure to change the timing belt with roller every 60,000 runs. Otherwise, the pistons will meet the valves and the engine will have to be overhauled. A snotty valve cover gasket should be replaced immediately. Otherwise, oil can fill the candle wells and kill high-voltage wires and ignition coils. The relatively new Ecotec F16 D4, also known as Opel's Z16 XER, is a little more progressive and more complex. Its 1.8-liter modification Z18 XER was installed on the Opel Vectra since the 2002 model year. Such a motor pulls harder and eats a little less gasoline, but it is technologically more complicated and can be more expensive to maintain. Features of Z16 XER Z18 XER The timing belt needs to be changed less frequently every 90 to 120,000 run. Every 100,000 kilometers the valves need to be adjusted as there are no hydraulic lifters. Weak point the heat exchanger. The housing bursts or the gasket leaks and oil flows onto a hot collector. Most often this happens with a regular and heavy load on a cold engine. There was a recall campaign due to depressurization of the fuel rail. Check with the seller if this problem has been fixed. If the engine rumbles like a diesel, you will have to change the camshaft gears and the phase shift solenoid valve. The problem is not general, but pay attention to the sound of the motor before buying. The most modern in the line of Chevrolet Cruze engines is the 1.4 liter A14 with a turbine. He inherited from the Opel Astra 2009 model year and was installed on the Cruze after restyling. A fairly reliable unit with a timing chain drive. The chain resource is enough for 120 to 180,000 km and the spare parts themselves with work are inexpensive. The turbo shouldn't be a problem for the first 200,000 kilometers either, with proper maintenance of course. Diesel units are a rarity on our roads. They can be 1.7 or 2.0 liters moreover, the power of the latter can also be different from 125 to 163 horsepower. After 100,000 runs, the particulate filter may become the main problem. 
it is expensive, and because of the quality of our diesel fuel, it fails much earlier than its due date. It will be cheaper to carry out the procedure for the complete removal of the particulate filter. For $200 to $300 you will forget about this problem forever. After 150,000 kilometers, the turbine may disturb. With poor maintenance, this can happen much sooner. The part is expensive, so check first when buying. But the diesel crews can give you a combination of dynamics and economy. But it will be very difficult to find such a copy, also in good condition. Checkpoint Chevrolet Cruise The Chevrolet Cruise has only two types of shift boxes, a 5-speed manual and a 6-speed automatic. The mechanical box does not cause any complaints, except for one weak point, the drive seals. They often flow, especially in late autumn or early spring, when there are sudden changes in temperature. It is impossible to ignore such a breakdown. Without oil, even the most reliable mechanics will completely fail. With an automatic transmission, everything is more complicated. In the first years of production, there were a lot of breakdowns. The automatic transmission failed after 30,000 kilometers. The main problems arose with the valve body and solenoids. But Chevrolet engineers worked hard on the bugs, and after restyling in 2012, the reliability of the unit increased significantly. At least 150,000 kilometers without breakdowns has become quite realistic. If you do not forget about regular oil changes, of course. Some owners installed an additional cooling system for the Chevrolet Cruze automatic transmission. But according to the reviews of the owners, this does not make much sense. Additional cooling helps the box only under extreme loads, in normal operation there is no difference. Suspension and steering the chassis of the Chevrolet Cruze is reliable and comfortable. Behind the usual beam, but with modifications. The what mechanism made it possible to obtain a comfortable overcoming of irregularities with a general simplicity of design. Up to 100,000, only silent blocks of the rear levers may not survive. The front suspension on normal roads can live in 150,000 kilometers. The ball joint on cruise is changing as an assembly with a lever. There are a couple of problems that technically do not affect anything, but psychologically wildly annoy cruise owners. One, not calipers. Packing the guides with grease helps best. You need to repeat regularly. 2. Knock shock absorbers. It helps to replace it with non-original ones, most often Bilstein. In the secondary market, 90% have already been changed. After restyling, the manufacturer eliminated both problems. In the steering of the Chevrolet Cruze, weak points are also associated with sound. Often the power steering pump starts to make a lot of noise. Sometimes it helps to tie up the hydraulic hoses and change the fluid. More often the pump needs to be replaced. After 2012, the system became hydroelectric and there were fewer problems. Chevrolet Cruze is a beautiful car with a comfortable suspension and good equipment. Another advantage is the favorable price compared to classmates. In many ways, the lower price is due to the image of a rather fragile and unreliable car. But in reality, most problems are easily and inexpensively solved even in your own garage. For a purchase, it is better to choose a cruise after restyling with a manual transmission and a 1.8 liter engine. So, you will shorten the list of potential problems and get at least some margin under the gas pedal. The body requires careful treatment, but does not rot. The difference in price between the minimum and maximum equipment in the secondary market is not significant, take it in full.